Samsung's Galaxy S22 has a great camera, a new look, and a smaller screen. But is it the right new phone for you? Here's how to decide. The Galaxy S22 is the smallest and cheapest phone in Samsung's new lineup. It starts at $800 and comes with a 6.1-inch screen. That's slightly smaller than last year's Galaxy S21 and considerably smaller than the other new phones Samsung launched this year. That includes the Galaxy S21 FE, Galaxy S22 Plus, and of course, the giant Galaxy S22 Ultra. If you're trying to decide which of Samsung's new phones is right for you, the biggest factors to consider are price and screen size. Yes, there are many other differences between these devices, but price and screen size are definitely the biggest ones. And no matter which new Galaxy phone you buy, you're bound to notice some camera improvements. The camera is one of the biggest changes on this year's Galaxy phones. The regular S22 and S22 Plus have both been upgraded to a 50 megapixel main sensor, which is quite a jump from the S21's 12 megapixel camera. I've spent a couple of weeks testing both the S22 and S22 Plus, and I've consistently seen improvements in color and detail. And all three new Galaxy phones are also better at taking photos in the dark. I witnessed these improvements across the board when comparing photos taken on the Galaxy S22 and the Galaxy S21 FE. Look at this photo of a bouquet of flowers. The Galaxy S22 does a better job of keeping the petals in focus. The same was true for photos taken with the telephoto lens. The Galaxy S22 zoom lens has a slightly sharper resolution than the S21 FE's, and the difference is certainly noticeable. And of course, don't forget about the improvements to low light photography. This photo was taken in my apartment with all of the lights turned off, and you can tell the Galaxy S22 just did a better job. But there is one area where the Galaxy S21 FE actually did better than the S22, the selfie camera. The Galaxy S21 FE has a 32 megapixel front camera, while the S22 has a 10 megapixel selfie camera. As a result, the S21 FE's photo looks sharper. You can learn more about the Galaxy S22's camera performance in our full written review. The entire Galaxy S22 lineup has a brand new look that looks and feels more elegant than last year's S21. I didn't mind the Galaxy S21's more metallic finish, but the S22's glass frame just has a more polished look that you can really notice when seeing the devices in person. Of course, none of this matters if you just plan to cover it with a case. But some people care about having a phone that doesn't feel cheap if they're going to spend close to $1,000. The Galaxy S22 certainly won't disappoint that crowd. That's one of the biggest differences between the Galaxy S22 and the Galaxy S21 FE, which is $100 cheaper than the Galaxy S22. Samsung launched the S21 FE in January just before the Galaxy S22. It has a simple design that most people probably won't mind, but it does feel bland in comparison to the S22. The Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus, on the other hand, are pretty much identical other than their size. The Galaxy S21 FE falls right in between the two since its screen is bigger than the S22's but smaller than the S22 Plus's. That makes the Galaxy S22 feel like the right choice for people who prefer smaller sized phones. If you were a fan of the Galaxy S10 from 2019, you'll probably like the Galaxy S22. Both phones are around the same size, except the S22 has flat edges, so they feel surprisingly similar. The Galaxy S22 feels a little too cramped for me personally after switching from the S22 Plus, especially when typing. But I'm not the audience for smaller phones, since I tend to prefer medium-sized devices. But I do think that this is one of the best executions of a smaller device that I've seen yet. It's just a hair thinner and lighter than the iPhone 13, but has the same size screen. When it comes to display quality, not much has changed since last year. The Galaxy S22 has an AMOLED screen, just like the Galaxy S21 and S21 FE. Samsung also added a new feature called Vision Booster, which is supposed to match the display to the lighting in your surroundings. But I didn't notice much of a difference when using the Galaxy S22 lineup alongside the Galaxy S21. The entire Galaxy S22 lineup runs on Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. Performance is just what you'd expect from a new phone. 
apps run smoothly, the interface feels slick, and the camera launches quickly. It also scored slightly higher than the Galaxy S21 FE in benchmarks that test general computing performance and graphics performance. But processor upgrades are more about new features than raw performance these days. It's part of why the Galaxy S22 can take better photos compared to the phone's predecessors. All three new Galaxy devices also have a 120Hz display, which also makes them feel a bit faster. The Galaxy S22 isn't the best when it comes to battery life, but it'll probably last long enough to get you through a full day. It lasted for 15 hours and 21 minutes during CNET's battery test, which involves continuously playing video in airplane mode. That's a little shorter than the Galaxy S21 FE's battery test results, and much shorter than the Galaxy S22 Ultra and S22 Plus, both of which lasted for more than 18 hours. The Galaxy S22 lineup runs on Android 12 and Samsung's One UI 4.1 software. One UI 4.1 is a smaller update to One UI 4, the bigger system-wide update that launched in late 2021. It brings refinements to a bunch of different areas of Samsung's operating system, including widgets and custom color palettes. But one of my favorites is the switch from icons to numbers to represent the zoom level in the camera app. The update isn't exclusive to the Galaxy S22, but it's nice that buyers will have it right out of the box. There's also good news for people who don't upgrade their phones very often. Samsung is committing to four generations of Android software updates, meaning your phone won't feel out of date too soon. The Galaxy S22's improved camera and fresh design make it feel like a modest but appreciated update. I'd recommend upgrading if you own a phone that's more than two years old. The year-over-year -year improvements are more incremental, so it's not worth spending hundreds of dollars just yet. If you're trying to decide which Galaxy S22 to buy, think about your size preferences and how much you're willing to spend. The Galaxy S22 is the best choice for people who don't want to spend too much and who prefer smaller phones, but you'll have to compromise on battery life. The Galaxy S22 Plus is probably the right balance of size and battery life for most people, and the Galaxy S22 Ultra is for people who want the biggest phone possible, along with other extras like an S Pen stylus and a better zoom lens. But at $1,200, it's one of the most expensive phones that Samsung sells. You might also be wondering whether you should buy the Galaxy S22 or the Galaxy S21 FE. If you prefer smaller phones and don't mind paying a little extra for a better camera, the Galaxy S22 is the right choice. But if you'd rather have a bigger screen and save some money, check out the Galaxy S21 FE. So what do you think of the Galaxy S22? let us know in the comments. And don't forget to check out the links in the description for our full written review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.